Hello party people. I just ran to Costco, did a whole shop with me. They had some really cool new stuff out. Also, a lot of Christmas stuff. Like, what? I needed to get some stuff for the house, obviously, so I have a grocery haul to share with you. Uh, it's not as much stuff as I wanted to get, but they don't have a lot of gluten-free options. So I may also run to Publix in the next day or two and then also add that grocery haul to the end of this because I'm sitting here looking at this stuff and I'm like, what are we going to eat? <laughs> Mostly for the kids' lunches. That one always, I'm like, what am I gonna pack for the kids' lunches? And then it just ends up being the same thing over and over again. So let me show you everything that I got. Mostly, I mean, half of it at least is like vegetables and fruit. So here's everything on this side of my counter. And here's everything on this side. Oh my gosh, and I also forget the $700 worth of shampoo and conditioner that I bought over here and I just don't feel like unloading it, although I probably will eventually. Okay, so let's start over here. I got some peppers. Oh, I got two bags of these mini sweet peppers because I have been loving that chicken salad. So I don't even know what it was called, lemon garlic chicken salad stuff that I made in a recent meal prep video. I devoured it. I loved it so much. The flavor was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I wanted to cry, it was so good. So I'm definitely going to make it again because I've been craving it. So I got two bags of peppers this time. So I'm gonna make a double batch. That's how much I liked it. I just thought it was so refreshing. That's what it was, so refreshing and crave worthy is the right word to use here. I also grabbed some big bell peppers because the kids like to eat these in their lunch and I cook with them for dinner and all that good stuff. Also grab some raspberries. Yeah, not much to say about raspberries other than I should have eaten some on the way home, but instead I ate some Miss Vicky's Spicy Dill Pickle. And you see the unopened bag here, which can only mean one of two things. I have a second bag opened in the front seat of my car. <laughs> Don't judge me. And also my tongue is raw because I've eaten way too many of those chips in the past week and a half. I grabbed two bundles of bananas. These are always a great price at Costco. And I've been making smoothies more and more lately, mostly for the kids. I just, I keep trying to eat smoothies. I just, or drink smoothies, I guess. It's just not for me. I can't, bleh, like they're, bleh, they're so thick going down and I just can't handle it. So here we are. I just make them for the kids. Also, we eat bananas like they're going out of style most days. If I would have bought three bundles, then we would eat none of them. And that is Newton's law. That's Costco law right there. I grabbed two bags of green beans. I always love making these for dinner. Bonus, these are like, you can cook them in the bag. I love to cook them in the oven, but if I'm baking something on the stovetop or making something on the stovetop, I should say, cooking something on the stove, whatever, however you want to word it, I can throw these in the oven. Sorry, microwave. Just don't even listen to me. What am I even saying? I got a pineapple right there. Looks like it's ready to cut, and that's my favorite way to get it. I have some peaches back here, really hard ones. I touched them, I tested them, because my kids, for whatever reason, Oh, we'll only eat a peach if it is super hard. I'm like, why don't you just eat an apple? Okay, they're always crunchy. Which, subsequently, I got some Honeycrisp apples. And these were a decent price at Costco. I know sometimes Costco sells apples that are, I don't know, $100 for a flat of them. But, well, you tell me how much it was. I want to say it was around $7, so I got a decent price. Maybe it was eight. I, you know, I don't remember. All the numbers kind of jumble together. I also grabbed a huge bag of mandarin oranges. The other day I went to Publix just to like hold us over for the next few days and I grabbed a bag of mandarin oranges. Did I go to Publix? I was somewhere. Oh, that's where I was, Sprout. Whoa, Sprout. I love Sprout, sometimes don't love Sprout. Always love this nail polish color, look at this. Isn't that pretty? I mean, don't look at my manicure job, like far away, it looks okay. I just can't justify spending $40 on getting my nails done and then having to do them in two weeks. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't, I'll spend $4 on a tube of nail polish. Is that what it's called? A tube of nail polish? A jar? What is it called? A thing of nail polish? Nah, it doesn't matter. That took a turn. All right, I also grabbed some crispy dillies and I can tell you right now, the dillio is, my tongue is so raw from those chips, the dill pickle chips. It's like, okay, well, can I just talk about them since I'm obsessed with them? Yes, there are dishes in my sink. Those are clean, those are dirty. We live life here and most of the time we're living it so hard. I don't do the dishes every day. And when I say every day, I mean like four times a day. I only do it really once or maybe twice a day. It doesn't matter. Spicy dill pickle chippy made with love and care. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> I love that she put that on there. I'm talking as if Miss Vicky packages her own things. 
Okay, what did I want to say about these? They're so good. They are so good. They're like salt and vinegar chips but with a hint of dill but also a tad of spice and it makes you want to eat the entire bag but I can promise you your stomach doesn't want you to eat the entire bag because then you'll be on the toilet being like, man, give me a salad because a salad a day keeps the diarrhea at bay. <laughs> Took another turn, but that's my life. Grabbed two things of strawberries. They look pretty good, and I gotta say, I kinda like the new packaging of the strawberries. Uh, you know, only because I'm going to put it in another package. Oh wait, yeah, okay, it kinda sticks on there. Not really, actually. Strawberries are always great. They smelled good. Oh my gosh, well, hold on. I also got some grapes. What can I say about these? They're not cotton candy grapes. They are delicious and nutritious. And those are the one, that's the one main thing I look for in food, but also sometimes I eat a lot of brownies. More brownies than I should. I grabbed this chicken coconut curry mango. I feel like I've had this before, but I also feel like it was a different brand of curry. This feels like there's a lot in here. 2.25 pounds, yeah, that's a decent amount, but also it was pretty pricey for what it was. I wanna say around 15-ish dollars. But for a quick, easy meal, just cook some rice. I always cook rice in the beginning of the week or just one day a week, how, whenever I'm cooking rice. I always cook more and then keep it in the fridge for the next night or lunch, whatever. So this will be a quick, easy meal. I can just cook the meat really quickly on the stove top and then top it with rice, have some veggies in the freezer. Boom, bon appetit, dinner is served, no big deal. I also grabbed some black forest ham. avelina has been enjoying rolled up uh, lunch meat in her lunch boxes. So I grabbed some for her. 9.36 is a really good price for almost two pounds of, well, fresh cut deli meat. It's not really fresh cut, but it look, it tastes fresh cut and it's really good quality. So that's a great price for it. So we were at our friend's house the other day and they had some sweet potato crackers and these are so good. They're gluten free. Oh gosh, you know what? I didn't even check to see if they're dairy free. Okay, they're also dairy free. So gluten free, dairy free. You'll be surprised. I almost bought some cereal made with oatmeal and it had wheat in it. And I thought, man, oh man. So that will be a good snack. I don't know, pair it with some hummus and then you've got a, a pretty nice snack there. Keep you full for a while. Oh my gosh, you know who's been loving these? Everyone. Everyone in the family loves a good heavenly hunk of chunk. Ooh, some cucumbers. Thank you, Eleanor. But mostly Wentworth. He will sneak some, and he's been asking for some more. So I said, you know what? I aim to please, and also I love a good heavenly hunk of chunk, so I bought some for myself as well. I got some hard-boiled eggs. Well, actually, Eleanor just brought up some cucumbers that fell on the floor, and I just like to eat these. I like to cut them in half and just gnaw on them and that makes me happy. But also, Wentworth loves to eat them with ranch dressing, which is a new creation for him. I used to cut them up and put them with a little bit of feta cheese and a little bit of Italian dressing, like the Olive Garden Italian dressing, and my kids would gobble that up as well. And if you want to add some romaine lettuce and then maybe some red onion, I mean, you've got yourself a good old salad right there. Only takes you a couple seconds and maybe a crisp $5 bill to get some cucumbers. Anyway, I got some organic hard boiled eggs. They're cage free, peeled and ready to eat. I used to think these, well, first of all, they're in a new package. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Vogue. But I used to think these kind of taste like rubber. Like they do have that kind of weird taste, but I found that if I cut them up and add them to a salad, I don't even taste the weirdness, which I should maybe be weary about. But also I have found that I am 0% likely to cook up some hard boiled eggs if I want some in my salad. It just won't happen. I know myself. It just, I won't do it. Now if my kids wanted some, I'd probably cook them. But for me, nah, I won't do it. So that way is better for me that I have them ready to eat in my fridge. I also grabbed some probiotic yogurt smoothies. So, okay, a lot of you, uh, I should have explained this better. Hold on. So the other day in a meal prep video, I was talking about, uh, you know, being gluten-free, dairy-free for my kiddos. There's a whole story and a half that goes along with Eleanor's allergies and how we found them out, almost found them out. It's, it's, I mean, it's a really long story. I can sit here for 20 minutes and tell you, but I'm sure you don't want to stare at some probiotic yogurt as I do so. So maybe in the future I'll share that. So I'll just tell you this. We're keeping her away from wheat and dairy, but 
keeping in yogurt because it has the probiotics for now until we can kind of resolve some situations or find out that she actually has an allergy to dairy and then we'll take her off because right now she needs the probiotics and if I can find them elsewhere I don't know you guys tell me everything I see in the grocery store with probiotic obviously has dairy in it is there some type of probiotic I can give her that she will first of all actually eat because I did see some that looked like they were dairy free I didn't look too much into it because I figured oh my gosh there's no way Eleanor is going to drink this concoction anyway so if you have any tips on that I would love that you let me know okay I could probably also google it but for now I got some probiotic smoothies also Wentworth loves to drink these so I I got two containers of them there's 24 in total and it does have quite a bit of sugar in it but also I don't know you guys it's just like should I make my own Probably, but will I? Absolutely not. I got some chicken breast chunks. These are for me. Well, I used to buy like five bags of these at a time, but they obviously have wheat in them. They probably have dairy as well. I know, Co not Costco, Chick-fil-A chicken. They like marinate their meat in, oh wait, do they do it in pickle juice or milk? Maybe both. I want to say definitely pickle juice and maybe a copycat recipe I did one time several years ago had me soak it in milk too. Who the heck knows? Anyway, I got those for me because uh, I like to top salads with them. <laughs> uh, mama's got to eat too, okay? I could go without, but uh, you know, I don't have to, so I'm not going to. I got some black beans. These are great to have on hand just for dinners, snacks, all kinds of things. My favorite thing to make with black beans is cook up some zucchini and onion, add black beans, a little bit of salt and pepper, boom, you have lunch or a side dish or even dinner if you're vegetarian. I love to add beans to a lot of stuff. Grab some ground turkey. Speaking of being vegetarian, oh look, I kind of want to make stuffed peppers again. Maybe I'll find a good recipe. I don't know. It's kind of underwhelming, stuffed peppers. Also, my kids don't really enjoy, they'll eat the rice mixture inside, but they won't eat the pepper. And then I feel like, oh my gosh, you're wasting the most important ingredient of the whole dish the pepper and then I grab some sausage I plan on making like a fall soup recipe not recipe what's for dinner but like fall soups so it call a lot of the recipes call for sausage and I have a couple of rounds of sausage but I needed some more and this is the only sausage that Costco has so I got that I also grabbed some gluten-free bread this is great bread I bought it once before and it's small it's like smaller than your average loaf but we're dealing with it when I use it's mostly for Eleanor she likes when I make uncrustables so I just take a rolling pin and I roll it out flat and it works really well that way and it doesn't fall apart so thumbs up for that I will say if you like eat it on its own like with toast and butter it definitely tastes like cardboard or styrofoam so I don't recommend doing that and then I got some eggs over here some cage-free eggs because uh, I feel like we're almost out and every time I need one I'm like oh my gosh I don't want to use it because we're almost out so I just doubled up on that they uh, you know they take a while before they go expired expired is that the right term whatever I got some chicken stock for all the soups that I plan on making and then I'll bring you over here I last night Alex was complaining about his neck and he says it's a whole thing about his pillow. So he recently bought a pillow from Five Below and he's like, this is the best pillow. I was like, yeah, for how long? It was five bucks. It's from Five Below. It's probably crappy. Well, it's been about a month, I want to say, and now he's complaining about his neck. So I got him this pillow. It seems really nice. It is nice and cold, which is crazy. I don't know what the heck is in there. Dual cool comfort, antimicrobial protection, personalized support. Look how good she's sleeping. Oh How God. can it not be nice, right? Oh, and a five-year warranty. So I'll keep you updated on how this works out for him, if he likes it, if he doesn't like it. Never hurts to have an extra pillow in the house, and I want to say it was on sale, so I just snacked it up. Snacked it up. Said that. Okay, face masks. 50 face masks. You guys, have I had the biggest problem trying to find face masks for my kids. Like, reusable ones I have some from last year and this year before school started I went to Old Navy okay I bought well I, I didn't buy any at first because they were completely out of stock so next time they had them in stock I want to say it was a week ago I bought some five packs I spent $50 I said these are the last masks I'm ever going to buy in my entire life I bought five packs I said my kids are never going to lose this many it's impossible well wouldn't you know it they are all adult size they didn't have any kid size they're adjustable masks but they still cover their whole face because they're adult size so I have to return those 
I can't find masks anywhere. I can find them at Target, but they're the Cat and Jack brand and my kids don't like those. Short story long, oh my gosh, I did buy some off Amazon for an arm and a leg. Five of them for like $25. I wanna cry, like why, why? So I just bought 50 masks for those days where I don't have it together and I don't have masks that are washed. I am just going to have this rather than like scurrying around my house trying to find a clean mask in the laundry basket or dryer or anywhere that I can, I am just going to, you know, save my mental health, okay? <laughs> and I just bought this. I never thought I would, but 50 masks, hopefully this lasts us till the end of time. Skinny popcorn! Weed free, dairy free, what more can you ask for? 39 calories per cup? We've never had this before. I normally get Boom Chicka Pop, the kernel corn, and that is dairy free. I didn't see that today, so I just got some Skinny Pop just for the kids, you know? And then, of course, you know all about Miss Vicky's. I also grabbed some Play-Doh, mostly one to play with for us, and then one to put out for Halloween. It's a nice allergy-free treat for the kids, and I don't know. It's like, how much candy does do people actually need on Halloween? I just think that's like a fun little treat for kids, and they're excited to get it because it's something a little different. And also, for those kids with allergies, Halloween can be real hard and I so I've been sensitive to that fact for several years so I've always get the play-doh the 50 pack from Costco is always a great price I want to say it's like 10 bucks you cannot beat that price so I've been doing that for several years and it has worked wonders so I also got some yoga pants with pockets, yes please. Uh, they're high-waisted or they look high-waisted. I almost got a pair of these from Old Navy. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm like always losing my yoga pants or they're always in the wash when I wanna wear them. I really only have one pair that I love and I just wear them like 17 days in a row <laughs> before I wash them. It's whatever. So I saw some at Costco today and I thought, yes, I'll do that because at Old Navy, I wanna say they're like 30 bucks unless you can find them on sale. And then I grabbed this. For Alex, isn't this nice? Hold on, it's a polo. It's short sleeved. Well, I would pull it out, but you can believe me. It's short sleeved. It didn't have a price on it. It's his size. It was the last one. I want to say it was from last year or they're starting to bring them out. It didn't have a tag on it. I don't know what they did or what they charged me for it. Probably an arm and a leg. I want to say at least $21 for something this nice. But every time I go to the thrift store, I can never find like Buccaneers gear. And when I do, it's like stained or holy. So I figured I'd just buy him something nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. The last Buccaneers game, Alex wore his Buccaneers sweater because he wanted to be festive. It was like 95 degrees. I said, Wow, I guess I need to buy you a shirt. And then over here, I grabbed a boat ton. Okay, so we have one conditioner, two conditioners, three conditioners, one shampoo, two shampoos, four conditioners, three shampoos. You guys, I feel like every time I go to Target, my kids are like, we're out of conditioner. I'm like, what? So this will hopefully last a month for us. You know, that's the price you pay when you have a bunch of girls, right? So I have, I just stocked up. I stocked up one because some of them were on sale and two because, well, I needed to stock up. So I would rather have shampoo under the sink ready to go than have to run to the next bathroom over and only to find another empty bottle of shampoo. <laughs> All right, now I probably went to Publix, so let me share that haul with you too. Here is my super impressive Publix haul. I didn't get a lot of snacks for the kids or any, as you can see, I just ran up there real quick. Still managed to spend $50 on what? Mostly milk. I needed some flat leaf parsley for some soups that I'm preparing. This is the first time I've bought flat leaf parsley. I always get the curly kind. I don't know why, I don't even like the curly kind. It smells like nothing, so I'm excited to use that and see what it Really, this doesn't smell like much either. It really just smells like grass and I just shoved it in my face and I'm kind of allergic to some kinds of grass, so I'll be interested to know if I start hiving up. I also grabbed some bay leaves because it turns out you can't make soup without some bay leaves. I mean, you can, and I definitely have, but it's in like every soup recipe. I grabbed some deodorant because who the heck knows where all of Avelina's deodorant is going? Who knows? You know who it is, Casper. Casper's up in our house, putting deodorant on and leaving it only he knows where. Who 
knows where it is. Every morning, where's your deodorant? I don't know. Well, who took it? And then I grabbed a lot of beans. I was out of white beans, so I just grabbed a whole bunch, so that'll probably last me a day. Also need beans for some of the soups that I'm making. And then I grabbed oat milk for when I do my cooking and if Avelina wants it for anything. And then the rest of the family enjoys the almond milk, vanilla almond milk. And then everyone has been enjoying the Chex Mix cereal. We, we have yet to try the vanilla, but we have had the honey and they like that, the honey nut. But they really like the plain brand and that's what I like too. Plain, no fuss, it's delicious. Oh my gosh, and I needed to buy rice milk, but they were out of it. My Publix is hit or miss whether or not they have rice milk. So uh, Meredith is chomping at the bit to get some of that cereal in her hole. Update on the cereal in Meredith's hole. She definitely ate some and the kids love the Chex Mix. I don't know why it took us so long to realize. You know what happened? I googled wheat-free cereal <laughs> because it's such a good snack. Quick eat. Well, I don't know if it's good. Definitely not the best nutrition. However, it is simple and available and convenient. I'll say that it's convenient. All right, so I'm jumping into the meal prep. I did not do a ton of meal prep this week and it shows in my diet. <laughs> I wish I would have got, you know, put together more things, but some weeks are better than others. And that's okay. That's life. We did our best. I did my best. I don't know about you. I hope you can say the same. And that pineapple looks really good and my kids ate it like within a day and a half. So, always happy when that happens. I always get a lot of questions about what kind of soap I use, even though I show it almost every time. That's the Dr. Bronner's Pure, some kind of soap. I don't know. I'm not a speed reader. I did take a speed reading course in college, though. That's a lie. I did take ballroom dancing, though. That was persuaded by Alex. He wanted to take ballroom dancing. And can I tell you, who skipped half of the classes? Raise your hand. Oh, Alex isn't here and you can't see him. But if he was, he'd be raising his hands because he skipped half of the class. I was like, why did you make me take this ballroom dancing class with you and then you're not here for it? Anyway, that's water under the bridge, I guess, you know. <laughs> it was my least favorite class. I just kept thinking, gosh, this is such a waste of my money. I should be learning something to go toward my degree. You know what I mean? Anyway, did you guys ever take some dumb classes in college? No, just me? All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm rinsing off the strawberries. I do a couple more fruits. And uh, yeah, I'll let you jam out to some tunes. Let me see if I can find something good. All right, I found this royalty-free jam. It is about a gal who is in a pretty toxic relationship, and she gets out of it. Can we all give her a round of applause? Give her a pat on the back? Good for her for getting out. It is called Lucky Me by Craig Weaver featuring Cleo Kelly. And I'm Casey Casham. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me. To sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever Would have believed them No reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see But now the never, ever, ever Seem to be over I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me It's hard to see But now the never, ever, ever Seem to be over I saw her So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me No 
Ain't no looking back, I'm on the right track Here she goes Lucky, lucky, lucky me That reminds me of a meme that I posted this past meme Monday on my Instagram. And uh, it's a picture of, I want to say Thantos. I don't know anything about superhero movies, but for some reason his name comes to my mind. And he's, uh, you know, the caption is, I don't know who you are. And then on the other side of the picture is, you know, the guy who played Blue's Clues. And, well, not the guy, you, you know, Steve or whatever his name was. And he's like, I never forgot about you. And well, you know what? I'll just pop it on the screen. So I'm not going to ruin your day. But you you see it. It's funny, right? Men versus women. Anyway, why did I? Who cares? <laughs> it's irrelevant. So here I am making a little charcut. We had a couple of people over, some neighbors and friends over for Super Bowl, not Super Bowl, but just a football game. Oh, the Bucks won. Ooh, the Bucks won. Hey, ho, Buccaneers got soul. I could continue, uh, but I won't. I was searching for that meme to post over, and there's actually another one, as if I haven't talked about it enough. There's another meme. It's like, hey, for those millennials who are too old to have watched Blue Clues, but, you know, we still need some inspiration from someone, from, you know, a mentor. Uh, uh, I think we need some words from Mr. Feeney. <laughs> right? Where is Feeney when you need him? Feeney. I love uh, Boy Meets World. Did you guys ever watch Girl Meets World? I definitely didn't. I mean, I, I may have tried because weren't Topanga and Corey the parents? I think at that point it's just, I mean, I can barely keep up with what shows do I watch right now? The Bachelorette or Bachelor in Paradise, the crappiest show ever invented. Somehow I keep tuning in week after week. I don't know. It's my downfall. Uh, currently, that's the only show I watch. So I feel like a couple hours every week, that's Okay, you know what? I don't know if I shared this with you guys. It took Alex and I. Is this a grocery haul or <laughs> what? Um, it took Alex and I a couple of weeks, two weeks to watch one single movie because at the end of the night, we would have like 10 minutes. Turn it on, 10 minutes, and then I would pass out. I, You know, I have cinema narcolepsy, and I just, as soon as the movie comes on, the lights come out, I am out. I'm out for the count. I just, you know, go, go, go all day. And then as soon as my head hits anything, I, I fall asleep. As soon as those uh, credits start rolling, I'm talking about the opening credits. <laughs> I'm just like, bye, good night. Anyway, it took us two weeks to watch It's a Wonderful Life is the movie that we watched. Uh, it is a weird movie. I'll tell you that it's not a happy one. It's like, I don't know. It was real bizarre. One of our friends was like, oh, it's my favorite movie. And we we're like, oh, okay, you've never seen it. It's an older movie. I like older movies. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I would not recommend watching it unless you uh, have nothing else to do, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> I mean, go ahead. And, you know what? I wish movies had the feature that YouTube does where you can uh, fast forward everything. Oh, my gosh. I meant to tell you the recipe to this. Oh, I completely forgot talking about old movies, not having enough time for movies. Uh, so I made the chicken salad recipe again because I love it so much. I wanted to meal prep it and I eat it with peppers. And the recipe actually says that you stuff the peppers with the chicken salad. It is so good and simple. Some mayonnaise, probably half a cup of mayonnaise, two cans of chicken uh, salad, maybe a cup or two cups if you're using fresh chicken. And then uh, some garlic powder. I know you, I used more than I probably should, but I love that. And then some lemon juice, some lemon zest, salt and pepper, and boom, that's it. You have a nice healthy snack waiting for you in the fridge. Maybe it's not healthy to you if you don't like mayonnaise. Maybe cut it with yogurt. Do like half and half Greek yogurt, uh, plain Greek yogurt. That would be a good one. But anyway, I've loved having this in my fridge and just snacking on it. Uh, yeah. So I guess I did share the recipe with you. Congratulations. I also shared it in a recent meal prep video. So I'll try to link that below if you're interested in seeing a weekly meal prep. But 
yeah, washed them, put it together. Boom! Shaco. Shaco. Bye. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you got some, I don't really know what you have gotten from this video, just some friend time. Thanks for hanging out with me, spending time with me, and meal prepping with me, not meal prepping, ingredient prepping, who the heck cares? Putting some fruit and veggies away in my fridge so that I can eat them without having to waste my time on cutting them because I already pre-wasted my time doing that. You know what I mean. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time, bye.